But I've actually been a, a supporter of high speed rail for several years, uh, seeing the opportunities that uh, high, speed, high speed rail brings to not only the Central Valley, but Fresno, but also particularly District 3 in South Fresno uh, with a, tr a planned train station uh, right at the, uh, in the heart of District 3. Let me start off by just reminding the general public of the benefits of high speed rail thus far. Um, not only is the future station plan for District 3, but if it wasn't for high speed rail, we wouldn't have the improvements along the 99. When you look back at big, you know, milestone legacy projects, the Big Dig, the California Aqueduct, Hehechi Dam, um, those are huge infrastructure projects that you're intentionally investing for the future of a state and the future of an economy. And that's what high speed rail is. The first task that I will take on Bill as a council member is to reestablish the District 3 Implementation Committee. The, one of the things that it's at the top is a comprehensive neighborhood re rehab uh, program. The, the most important step that the city needs to take with downtown Fresno is an investment in infrastructure. For us to revive and revitalize downtown, we must be intentional about infrastructure, about our permitting and uh, planning process. What great cities do is invest in themselves with basic amenities. And you also do that by investing local versus giving away your tax revenue to corporations that don't live here, don't reinvest in here. You know, Amazon starting at $15 an hour at more than 2,000 employees. Uh, that's significant uh, income in our community. Um, that creates uh, jobs. Those individuals spend their money locally. I try to find uh, the best solution. My opponent is sometimes known as a, a bit of a bully. I would describe it as simply experience. Um, I've been working at a billion dollar, um, the largest employer in the Valley floor, in an executive role. Everybody, especially City Hall, wants to partner with education to get things done, but the partnership typically is one way. One of the best things that we can do is, one, attract industries that are, allow for upward mobility. Attract industries in education, in healthcare, and telecommunications where people can start in one position and move up. And two, fund your basic responsibilities so that education doesn't have to do it for us. Uh, to have a comprehensive uh, workforce development plan uh, that would uh, support uh, the school district's goals around academic and career, uh, career, career tech. Uh, but also support the businesses. One of the, the biggest challenges I hear from employers is to be able to have a qualified workforce. And I want to make sure that those uh, residents are coming from uh, District 3, that people that live in District 3 can actually work in businesses within their uh, community. I would say uh, no. Uh, there's a number of things that the city does well. Legal services for immigrants is not one of them. Let me remind us that immigrants contribute a billion dollars worth of taxes in this region, a billion. It's about the message that you said, that this city is a welcoming place to this generation as immigrants, as it has been to previous generations of immigrants. 